All right, I'd like to talk about a real quick upgrade I made to the beast here. There was one weakness with this rifle that I could find, and it was that backup iron sight that I had on this rifle. This is my full-size AR with the ACOG. My backup iron sight was a Magpul polymer backup iron sight, which Magpul backup iron sights are really good quality, but just like a lot of other backup sights, they don't have an elevation function. All they have is windage adjustment, and with that iron sight, it'll get you out to 300 meters. After that, you have to start using Kentucky windage. I honestly don't like using Kentucky windage if I don't have to, because I feel if you can get a sight that's pre-dialed to longer ranges, you're going to be a lot more efficient doing that versus using Kentucky windage and constantly missing the target. So what I did, and it's kind of a birthday present because today is my birthday, by the way. You can see I now have a Maytech rear sight. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. I don't know if it will or not. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in correctly. And the camera is going to be a pain. But, oh, oh, almost. There we go. Now you can see right there, there's your elevation. We use Maytechs in the military. My M4 at my unit has a Maytech backup iron sight. And you can see, all the way up to 600 meters, I have elevation set up. All I have to do is turn that knob, and I've got the exact elevation. So all I have to do is zero this sucker at 300, and have the setting set on 300, and whatever distance I determine the target to be, I can go ahead and click it to the closest um, 50 meters in that distance. Because you can see here, this is divvied up in increments of 50 meters with exception of the top two, the 200 and 300. But all I have to do is find the closest, click it to that, and my rounds are going to be on target. Maytech makes an awesome sight. This is, by the way, windage adjustable. I'll show you right there. Windage adjustable just like an A2. So there's no worries there. You can adjust it. And I tell you what, these things run right around anywhere from, uh, I've seen them from anywhere from 100 to 150 depending on your area, depending on where you're getting it from. As you can see, it's a perfect fit underneath the ACOG. And I tell you what, I like this sight a lot better than the Magpul. Magpul is great if you just have a close quarters type AR-15, but this guy right here, I want effective out as far as I can get it. And that Maytech sight definitely helps. Because like I said, that was a weak spot on this rifle. If the ACOG, in the very unlikely event this thing was out of commission, how in the world am I going to use those backup sights uh, if I didn't have elevation? The Magpuls, you can, uh, I had them sighted in. You can shoot them pretty straight out to 300 meters. But then after that, it's just Kentucky windage. And I like to know that now I still have the same capability of getting out long range, almost the same capability, I should say, as the ACOG. The only other thing I plan on doing on this rifle later on is switching out the ACOG mount from the twist mount to uh, quick release mounts. Something by either LaRue or ARMS. Uh, we'll see. I'm just doing some research on that. That'll be later on. That's not as important right now. Just because ACOGs rarely go out. It takes a lot to knock one of these scopes out of commission. So in any case, I highly recommend Maytech sights if you're looking for a good quality sight to go on your AR that will give you a compact uh, build, just like this. You can see it's very compact, but at the same time will give you that long range precision. Now the one thing about this sight, the Maytech rear sight, it does not, let's see if I can get to focus in, it just has a small aperture. I don't know if you can see right there. It does not have the bigger zero to two aperture, which is fine for me. So, all right, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and keep yourself safe.